the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Hey everybody, God bless you. We just had a great Bible study. I mean, I'm talking about the fact is that I, I did a little preliminary session uh, on Saturday. Was talking about the fact is, talking about the affirmative action plan, right? And we talked about the fact is that the Supreme Court said then said, we're gonna just, we just gutted affirmative action because we are a colorblind nation. And you know what? God says that we are all one body. You know, so our body is it's not not talking about the spiritual body that we're all a part of. Is 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 also supposed to be colorblind, right? And also supposed to recognize the importance of every piece of the body. That if one part of the body hurts, and all the parts of the body hurts, and if one part of the body rejoices, and all the parts of the body rejoices, and it'd be great for us to get there to to that point where we all operate as one. We all see things not based on the color of our skin, but the content of our character, and that we don't base our content of our character based on the images or narrative that other people try to put on us as individuals or as a collective group. We're not all racist, we're not all uh, bad or murderous or all that, no, no. We, 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 we special us supposed to be the part of the body of Christ, we operate in love, not in hate. So we, you know, so we covered a lot of the scriptures today, and and uh, we one of the things we covered. First of all, let's make sure I give you the uh, title that we had. Let me see if I can get that up for you. Uh, well, maybe I shouldn't get that up. Let me see. Let me bring it up to the scripture all the way up, and then I'll show it to you. The title uh, that we had is this right here. And it said that, and you see the title when you actually pull up the, the slide, but it said, God is our chief affirmative action planner for eternal life. I made it too heavy because I did one on Saturday. And, and obviously the, what I did on Saturday is different from what I did today. But the bottom line is three, John 3, 16, God so loved the world that he gave his only God's son to whosoever. See, whosoever is not based on the color of your skin, not based on you not based on anything except for you believing. You know what I mean? And maybe we get to the point on society that we recognize people as whosoever in any endeavor that they try to achieve. And then we don't sit there and try to sit there and hold somebody back or, or create, you know, like system, uh, systematic racism or anything else. We're going to sit there and say is that all of us need to look at one of us as one body. You know, just like one nation under God. Right? And so therefore we, we that's what we talked about. It's the subject for the day. And I and I it really brought home the fact is the importance of loving one another. And one of the pieces of the scripture that I like, the, we talked about the uh first Corinthians. Let me show you this real quick. First Corinthians chapter uh twelve, starting in verse twelve. You can see the topic it says body with many members and you know I, I just started with just that read one verse because I just did this introduction is for as the body is one it has many members and all the members of that one body being many are one body so also is Christ we're all those of us that believe and I'm, I'm just talking about us as believers and the fact that the importance of us as believers is now the time to let our light shine and show people the love of God. You know, one of the things about that scripture and another scripture we're reading, we're talking about in 1 John chapter 3, and the fact is in the beginning, God wanted us to love one another. And he said, not as that wicked Cain who did the harmful things to his brother Abel, who was a righteous person, and righteous means right standing with God. And all of you that receive right, you're in the right standing with God. But if you have hated you, you have no eternal life abiding in you. And that's what we want to be able to talk about. 
did one of the things about the affirmative action plan, one of the things that Judge Thomas was talking about, the fact is that people sit there and say, you didn't belong here because you're a quota. But obviously, just some people thought you didn't belong here, period. And that's what the affirmative action was, to open those doors where people would say, you don't belong, you do belong. And if we have to create laws or affirmative action to open those doors, then go through those doors. But now, if we say, based on the Supreme Court, that the doors are open, and a person belongs there because of their talent, because of their education, because I don't think you probably know about it, but a lot of schools, based on the school you came from, a lot of the people that was in the front action plan, whether in the visual school, whether in the HBCU school, or whether in Harvard or Yale, they, they're, most of them are gifted, talented people get into MIT and into those schools. And the only difference are the people who don't have the gifts and may not have the education or the talent are those who are from the legacy. Meaning if you went to that school, then you your child has the right to go to that school. So therefore they may not have be a high achiever, but they were a legacy. So what we want to do is make sure that we as a body of Christ encourage and edify one another and do the right thing. So I hope you enjoy this video. We're obviously gonna break it down to part A, B, C, D, whatever it needs to do to complete it. And just listen to the fact is that God has a affirmative action plan for eternal life, meaning whether you are an African American, whether you are European American, whether you're an Asian American, whether you are Chinese American, whether you are Jew or Gentile, God has an affirmative action plan that when you get to heaven, ain't nobody gonna say you don't belong there. Nobody gonna sit there and say you are poor. Everybody gonna sit there and say that it plays God for you and for me to be here then praise God. Amen. So I hope you enjoy the study, and I'll see you when I see you. God bless. Bye-bye. Um, I wanted to uh, I think this is, here's my affirmative action plan that was given in the, in the Bible. I want you to write that one out. We're finished. I'm going to put it up. I'm going to put it up. See you look at it. <laughs> see you look at it. He's looking at each of the screens. I was like, look at him. I, I, I see you look to the right, you look to the left. I don't know which screen he's looking at. But he's a brother. I, <laughs> then, read, could you read our affirmative action plan, people? We're going we're gonna to close with this chapter, or at least half of the chapter, uh, of God's affirmative action plan. Uh, I'll, I'll leave it to you, good brother. First Corinthians 12. Is for as the body is one mm -hmm. and have many members. Okay. And all the members of that one body, being uh -huh. mem many, are one body. So also is Christ. Uh huh. For by one spirit are we all baptized into one body. One spirit, uh huh. Whether we be Jews or Gentiles. Uh huh. Whether we be bond or free. Well, and have been all made to drink into one spirit. One spirit, okay. For the body is not one member, mm. but many. Okay. If the foot shall say, because I am not the hand, I am mm. not of the body. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Is it therefore not of the body? Just because well. it's something? And if the ear shall say, because I am not the eye, I am not of the body. Mm. Is it mm -hmm. therefore not of the body? Okay. If the whole body were an eye, <laughs> where were the hearing? Where is it? If the whole were hearing, uh -huh. where were the smelling? Where? But now have God set the members, every uh -huh. one of them in the body, as it hath pleased him. There's that pleasing again. You know what I mean? There's that pleasing again, too. Go ahead. <laughs> and if they were all one member, well, where were the body? Okay. But now, are they many members? Uh huh. Yet, yeah, but one body. Oh. And the eye cannot say unto the hand, I have not no need. I have not. I have no need of thee. 
Mm. Nor again mm. the head to the feet. I have no need of you. Mm. Okay? Much more, those members of the body which seem to be more feeble are necessary. Very necessary. <laughs> those members of the body which we think to be less honorable. Oh. But these uh -huh. we bestow more abundance of honor. Come on now. And our uncommonly parts have more abundant comeliness. Yes, sir. For our comely parts have no need. Okay. But God had tempered the body to come on now. Uh -huh. Having given more abundant honor to that part which lacked. Ah, the part of people don't see. Okay. Yeah. That there should be no schism in the body. Oh, no division, huh? Uh huh. Should have the same care, one for another. Come on now. <laughs> and whether one member suffer, oh. all the members suffer with it. Or one member be honored, all the members rejoice with it. Come on now. Now ye are the body of Christ, and the members in particular. And so, members in particular, right? And, and like you said, we we there's no schism supposed to be in the body. Yeah. Well, right. well, well, understand this: if Christ is the head, come on now, come on. He's honored. Come on. And if he's honored, the rest of the body body is, is honored. honored. Yes. Yes. Now, if you if you reject a part of the body, then you're rejecting the head. <laughs> I, I remember that one, one joke where the it was the uh, the that the lower part of the body that dispels waste, and it was a challenge between that and I guess the eyes or you know some other part of the body that 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 felt like I have all the. Honor. I, I am what's necessary. Mm -hmm. I speak. I can talk. You know what I mean? Oh, I can hear. I'm, I'm, I'm more important than anybody else. Right? Well, I got hands. I got feet. And, and, and then that part came up and said, oh, I got a role too. I got a role to play. I'll tell you what. Uh, I'll stop doing my role because obviously the speaking is more important. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, oh, 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 the hear. Yeah, you, you're right, brother. Hey, brother. The ears are more important. It must be more important. Uh, uh, you, you know what I'm getting to, right? Yeah. Because what happens when it's shut up? Then all of a sudden, there's a, there's a problem. Yeah, it becomes the most <laughs> important part. <laughs> <laughs> and all of a sudden, people are trying to say is that God looks at us as one body. And, and, and if we sit there and try to dehumanize parts of our bodies to the point where it's destruction, right? <laughs> destruction. Because that 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 comely part is not seen, bro. That part is not seen, is it? it, it it's, it's normally not seen. <laughs> hey, but check this out. If that part suffers, the whole body suffers. The whole, oh, matter of fact, you think if you hit a, remember like I said, if you just, just stop your toe. Yeah, that, that, whole that that's is going to is is concentrated on that toe. <laughs> the whole you body. Your head, your your feet are going to dance <laughs> because your head. <laughs> because if, if you if you can rub your head with your feet, your feet will do it. Your feet will do if it. You bump your head. Come on now, come on. In other words, every part of the body, think about I like that. That's a real good parable, the analogy, isn't it? Yeah. And the fact is that anything that happens in any part of our bodies, we all know we've all been sick, we've all been ill, uh, it affects the whole body. So when we sit there and do bad things to one another, opposed to what he said to love one another, we're affecting the whole body. And he's saying is that yeah, I want, I want, I want all of you to have the opportunity to go to any education system that you want to go to. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to address. At least the system was trying to address a wrong, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. And, it, and, and it was. You, it was correcting the course. Exactly. You know, and and in this country, without laws, there will be no correction. 
And the other part to that, without upholding the law, mm. the correction will not be made. No. Because there's plenty of laws out there that are not being upheld. Mm -hmm. So corruption has taken place and will continue to because it's being overlooked. It's being overlooked. You, right. you can, you can, and you know what happens. You overlook a damaged part of the body. It's, it's going to fall off. It's going to fall off. Okay. It leads to destruction. Yeah. Right now, because we got, we got, I mean, even when you take the political environment today, first thing we heard was, well, my transgression was just as equal to the other person's transgression. And I'm going to take revenge when I get in charge. I get in charge again. You watch. I will get a person, a prosecutor, a special counsel, like I did before. I, I did do it before, but you know it didn't come out the way I wanted it to come out. But I'll do it again, and I'll put those people in jail. Even though my people was put in jail for committing crimes, I'm going to pardon them. Yeah. And I'm going to pardon myself. <laughs> yeah. Look, in the end, they said, is if you do right, I'll pardon myself. Let me get elected. I'll pardon myself. Uh, this this cycle, um, darkness and wickedness, it could lead to our destruction. Well, you know, it is leading. To it. it is leading to the <laughs> It is though. According to <laughs> the word, it is leading to it. It's uh, it's yeah. It's just it's just it, to be honest. This is just us moving forward to the culmination of this word that we're reading. Yeah, it's almost sad. It's almost sad to the fact is that go back to the scripture, be not to see God is not mocked with some yeah. of the man's sword, that's also read. We've made, if we don't recognize and try to correct the things that we did wrong, if we try to ignore and act like everything's okay, if we're gonna sit there and say that we have, reached, we have arrived into this country, even though we just had a man, a police officer stay on a man's neck until he died, uh, or, or people being shot and killed, uh, people being discriminated, people not getting hit. The education system is trying to say we don't want we 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 want it we we have arrived we we people can get into these schools now even the even the loan system you know about the education piece yeah the the, the loans but these kids it's not just a people of color it's not just Hispanic there's European whites as well yeah. that but. The people that go for being lawyers, the people that go for being doctors, the money that they have to borrow to get an education and, and the base on the institution they want to go to. You know, some want to go to Yale, like, some want to go to Harvard. If you want to be this level of society, you got to pay, and you got to pay a hefty price to get there. And you're going to pay for a long time. We're not going to. You're, you're talking years, you're words, talking 20 years. Yeah, yeah, you're not needed so much that we ain't gonna get out. Exactly. And, and then look, and the rich person, they ain't paying no loans to people. If, if, a, if a family can buy a building for the, for the school, you think they got a loan? Yeah, they're not tied to that school. They're not tied to, to that. They're not tied to debt and everything else, no. You know, and you you almost kind of like, well, tired. Uh, like, I don't know about you, when you got that GI bill, they still hold that. You know, I remember one time somebody was trying to say, well, how often, how soon you got to uh, execute it, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, hopefully, they, but I guess you they don't have a time limit on when your child, how did? I, I don't know. I haven't, okay. I haven't okay. really gotten into the, the, the tip. It's coming. Yeah. It's coming. But it's right? coming. It's coming. Um, you know, it's 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 amazing. And you know, I'm just gonna leave it alone. Leave it alone. <laughs> what, what 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 are we trying to say is that they, look, brother, I'm gonna go with you on this and be able to leave the high note as this. Isaiah 60, what we just read. Rise and shine, 
for the light has come. And the glory of the Lord has risen upon thee. He said in that, there are scriptures that said that darkness has covered the earth. And gross darkness of people. That's why he's saying is, I, you, you need to be able to recognize that. But, I, you know, when you talk to the end of that scripture was reading, toward the fifth, I think the verse five or four, the Gentiles will flow. The non-believers will flow and be converted upon thee because you let your light shine. Hey, look, the just shall live by faith. And, and I, I think the biggest part of the faith is that abundance living that he gives us. But the greater living is the abundant heavens afterward. Your, I mean, you, when you minister to other people, when we minister to other people, and we use this platform to minister to other people, is that yes, gross, I think we can agree, we, we recognize darkness is covered here. Right? And we recognize gross darkness. Because that's what that's what can be depressing, in fact, is gross darkness has covered the people. You caught that. I don't think you said did you you you, you caught it like did you maybe did, did you you didn't break that one down as much, did you? But you did. You talked about yeah, gross talked about darkness about covered darkness. the people. That's what you were saying. That was even worse. You already said this. Gross, there's darkness in the earth, but gross darkness, the people. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you.